stigmatization has such an effect on certain groups, on certain populations, that these people um, don't manage to, to, to get access to water and to sanitation because they are marginalized, they are excluded. And this marginalization and exclusion is something deliberate. It's something deliberate that comes from other members of society. Sometimes it even comes from the authorities. So what I've seen on my country missions is that very often these people don't have access to water and sanitation because they are stigmatized. They are homeless people uh, and for that reason they are deprived of access to uh, public toilets, to water fountains. They are Roma, they live in informal settlements, they are not connected to the, to the, to the, to the water network. Uh, they are Dalits, uh, they, they are not prioritized, for example, in or they, if they are even excluded in cases of natural disasters, humanitarian emergencies, they are put aside, they don't get access. And this situation of exclusion of these people is seen as natural, as acceptable, even as necessary, as legal even, very often by authorities. And this makes, of course, the problems much deeper and much more entrenched in societies and more difficult to combat. It renders people's needs uh, invisible. For example, uh, uh, women menstruating are very often uh, put in isolation, secluded. They are not allow allowed to prepare food uh, for their families. And since this issue is a taboo and is stigma, I was talking with Roma, a father crying, telling me my daughter came home crying from school and saying I don't want to go to school again because the other kids tease me and say that I stink. And he said, I know that she stinks, but the problem is that we don't have water at home. We have a river nearby and in winter we cannot go there because it's too, it's too cold. So obviously then it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. They do stink, but they also stink because they don't have the means to have access to to, to sanitation, to water, to hygiene, to work with the taboo, that's the first thing. And I'm not saying that this is an easy subject. I'm, uh, I, it is complicated, it is difficult, and every single country on earth um, witnesses stigma inside its society. Some different, some form of stigma in every single country. And I'm not saying, again, that it is easy to address it, but I think that the first thing, and today I finished my presentation at the council by saying, just having this discussion is already a victory for me because we are putting the issues on the table, we are addressing them, we are talking about them, and this is a first step. And governments have to do, undertake awareness raising campaigns uh, in order to educate the population, uh, to change their perceptions about these groups that are seen as dirty, as disgusting, as different, um, uh, to put an end to, uh, to this end versus them divide that exists in countries. For me, that's a fundamental first step.